welcome that you lovely lot. Today we've got a 3D penguin set for you. Now I asked on a couple of social media platforms if this is something you'd be interested in seeing on a video and it was an overwhelming yes so here it is so let me talk through this for you so i am doing the ring finger and this is going to be a color block so i'm putting down snow white from cjp so i'm going to make sure the cuticle area and the side walls are nice and neat first then i'm going to concentrate on that wall so i'm going to bring in that second bead i will then pat that from left to right make sure i've got full coverage blend that in the back and then work on that wall using my brush make sure that's nice and straight park that for a minute let that set up before moving on to the next nail now this is moon dust from cjp and i'm going to cover two nails with this it is gorgeous guys really really nice it's a pre-mixed glitter acrylic that means that it's got glitter with acrylic mixed into it so i just need to pick up the monomer dip into the pot straight on the nail job the goujon now the little finger is going to be a full nail of this and i'm also going to use it on the background for my penguin so that's the middle finger which is this one so i'm going to pop that all over like i said i'm going to do the little finger as well but i do believe that's not in I haven't videoed that, I can't remember. I know, I'm rubbish. So I'm just gonna pop that in, make sure I've got nice coverage, happy with that, nice and thin, thin, thin. Park that, let that set up. Now this is the point finger, so what I'm gonna do here is a smile line. So I'm going to pop that bead on, blend it at the back build my wall and my shape at the front you've seen me do this lots of times on my channel at the moment because i love them they are so so attractive on a nail so get that wall nice once i'm happy with that i'm going to get my second bead this is my cuticle bead i will lay that down tap 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 make sure it's nice and thin at the back make sure i'm happy with that and then pull that up and over that front bead blend that in make sure it doesn't interfere with my smile line wall that i've done and then i will park that let that set up meanwhile i filed in the wall here i'm coming in with a little bit of gripper glue from cjp and i've got some red sparkly netting this is from smiley's glitter store it is gorgeous guys so i'm going to pop that on let that set up before coming in with some skizzers look at that sparkle isn't it pretty then what I'll do is trim that up, file it with a worn out file, make sure that nothing's going to come between my capping layer and the original clear tip. So if I need to go in with the scissors again and just tidy it up, that's what I'm going to do. Then I will make sure that's nice and clean before coming in with a clear bead of acrylic and cap that all in. I will then cap the rest of these nails in clear acrylic just going to show you this little bit here then what I'm going to do is file in that smile line on that point finger guys I'm using a new brush it's a round brush I've got a question for you do you like a pinched acrylic brush or do you like the full round acrylic brush I've always had pinched I did try around one once when I first started I really didn't get on with it far too much monomer I couldn't control it I think a little bit more experience and practice now I've been qualified three years now so yeah um, I thought I'd give it another go and see if if I get on with it or not let me know what you think and why please if you, if you don't mind just pop that below in the comments okay this finger is hot paprika guys I'm going to fill that in Again, clear cap it. I will then top coat all these nails, put matte top coat on the middle finger, and then we're gonna come in and start our penguin. So I've Googled it, guys. Again, good old Google. And I've come up with penguins, and I look for a character penguin. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at the shape. I'm not looking at the picture. I'm not looking at the detail. I'm looking at the shape of its head. And it's got really, really big chubby cheeks it's gorgeous really cute 
and the head kind of just goes in a little bit on each side of the forehead so that's the shape I'm going for pop that down then I'm going to come in and do the body again I'm looking at its shape and it's quite you can either get them with big round bodies like a snowman I wanted to steer clear of that I needed it to look penguin not snowman all the others are quite long so I went for the long image here so I'll pop that in pop that down make sure it covers from side to side that I'm really happy with what I've got these are thin layers of acrylic I'm putting here I can always go in and build it up I don't want it too large too prominent from the finger so I'm going to put in his little orange feet with some ginger glow from CJP then I'm going to go back in with white and I'm going to do his hat so I'm going to put on his little ruffle bit at the front of his snow hat make sure I'm happy with that before coming in with that beautiful red which is hot paprika it's really bright I thought it was gorgeous I normally go for candy apple red but I've got quite a few so I thought I'd try this and see what 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 you think really I love it I thought it was really nice went really well now guys I did put up a poll about this on a couple of social media platforms and I asked you if you wanted a video and the results were an overwhelming yes so thank you so much guys for your support honestly you do not know what it means to me especially at the moment it's pretty rough out there isn't it um especially here in the UK so yeah wherever you are stay safe and thank you once again but the reason I asked is because you've got Glitmas. So not only your four uploads per week, which I bring to you week in and week out of full designs, but Glitmas, the nail art challenge with the advent calendar where I open it every morning with you while you have your little coffee and we do a Christmas design. Now guys, I did this last year and I've brought a calendar. I haven't had it gifted to me. I have purchased it with my own money and I decided to um, go with Sparkle Supplies UK because I knew after many chats that it wasn't going to be just glitter and that we'd have a great time doing those designs. Let me know what you think below, I'd love to hear that. Right, okay, this nail, so we've put on a little scarf, he's got his little wings, I need to put on his bauble at the top of his hat, his little pom-pom. So I'll pop the bead on, there's a little bit much there, so I take it off just like you would do if you were putting down acrylic on a normal nail so I'll just take that off the edge make sure it's nice and round and then I go as it starts to set up I'm going to shape it so around the edge I'm going to go in with a tip of my brush and I'm going to stab 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 make it look all fluffy then once I'm happy with that I'm going to move on to the tails of his scarf this will finish off the 3d acrylic then I'm going to let that set up while that acrylic is setting I'm going to pack the acrylics away I'm going to bring out the gel paint and we're going to go in and we're going to add the detail so with a couple of gel paints on my palette I'm going to go in with the black now I need to put on the facial markings first so I am outlined the face with black then I'm going to come down into a point on his forehead I'm looking at my Google picture, now I'm looking at just his face, so I'm just looking at his markings. Once I know where the markings are, then I can work on the eyes and the beak. So I'm popping that on, once I'm happy, I'm going to flash cure that, get it in the lamp. So I've zoomed right in on this Google picture, just of the penguin's face. So I find one that I like, and I'm going to go with that. Then I come in with the dotting tool. And I've got a dark blue, because it's the only blue I've got. I've got dark blue and I've mixed it with white to get like a baby blue shade. And with the dotting tool, I'm going to dot some uh, gel for its eyes. I have to full cure this because it's a uh, three layer. And with the small dotting tool, I'm going to go in with that royal navy blue that I mixed to get the baby blue. And I'm going to pop that. Then I'm going to fully cure that and go in and with the tip of my brush use a little bit of white. Then with the orange I'm going to pop in a beak. So again I'm looking at the Google picture, the shape. I'm putting that in and then I'm going to fill that in. With a little bit of black I'm going to do his eyelids. 
get that in the lamp, flash cure that. Then pop in a couple of lashes on each eye. Get that in the lamp, flash cure that. Just going to outline with really, 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 really thin, very light strokes with my brush just to outline his beak. Now I'm showing you this. There's a little bit of pink and there's a little bit of top coat there. So the top coat I use in between to clean my brush. I've mixed the pink with the top coat, just a tiny bit of pink, so it's like a diluted shade. And I'm going to give him little rosy cheeks, but they're going to be pink from the cold. And then what I do is put a little bit on and then blend, blend, blend just to give it that, that tint of colour. Don't want it to be pink, I want it to be a really diluted shade. I like it so much it puts him on his belly. Makes it look little and round. Get that in the lamp, give that a flash cure. So to finish off this design today, I'm going to put some cable knit detail on his scarf and his hat and all I'm doing is two sides of a triangle a little arrow head and it makes it look like a knitted jumper I will then fully cure this in the lamp I will shiny top coat the back of the nail and then matte top coat my little 3d penguin so what do you think let me know in the comments below guys we are coming towards the end of the video today i really do hope you've enjoyed our little nail play if you have would you mind taking a moment and hitting that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed i would absolutely love it if you would i'd like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for watching and for all your support during these tough times guys stay safe and until next time